Okay, now we want to check in with Chief Meteorologist Mark Nelson. Talk about our forecast on this Monday. Well, so it's pretty hazy out there and it's hard oh, to yeah. see. But we, do, we have a, a couple of showers that have popped up in the south metro area. Hmm. And Drew Reeves, his mom said she was out taking a run. Correct me if I'm wrong. He said mom said it was the loudest <laughs> thunder she'd ever heard. Whoa. That's a good mother that contacts her son that while he's is. working. She's a meteorologist on it. mother. Very good. Good job, Drew's mom. Um, I'm sure my mom would call as well, but... Uh, Anyway, it's probably, probably dinner time. 88 degrees, skyline camera. So that's the view. Uh, we just skated in under 90 degrees. Let's, let's zoom in on the radar, and you can see. First, we did have a big thunderstorm, actually, right in the coast range. Dropped quite a bit of rain between Eddyville and Corvallis. That's petered out a little bit, but it's heading towards Jefferson. Then let's come up into the metro area. Look at how this thing just almost popped up out of nowhere. Just, let's say, southeast of Newburgh, moving right along the, uh, the, the Willamette River. Wilsonville headed right towards uh, about Canby here. And then that's headed off to these. These things pop up quickly and then they'll disappear. But you notice it doesn't show lightning. Mostly what we detect with a system like this, these weather graphic systems, mostly it's cloud to ground and ground to cloud lightning, not so much in the cloud. So if we have high base thunderstorms, cloud uh, lightning could be going within the cloud. We wouldn't detect it there. You, also, you can also see something that might have spit out a flash of lightning just almost right over, the, let's say, the north side of Malala that's heading up towards Estacada there. So there's the tiniest of a chance one of you could get a thunderstorm, but they seem really scattered west of the Cascades. We are cooler. We're running about 10 degrees cooler. That is good news. And here are the official numbers for today. Did we hit 90 in the valley? Not quite. Very close. So 88 in Portland, just scorching hot east side. So this, of course, was our big heat wave, a historic heat wave. As I showed you those numbers earlier, it's our second one of the season. Notice we had uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days at or above 95 degrees, which is just, you know, ridiculous. And that was the first time we've done that in Portland. We've never had seven consecutive days at or above 95 degrees. Tonight, a little more reasonable. Temperatures ramped down a bit. Last night was 69 degrees. We've had four nights now at 69. Um, and tonight should be in the low 60s, upper 50s in the outlying areas, maybe maybe a thunderstorm east of the Cascades. Two things going on. One is there's this moisture, this monsoonal moisture coming up from the desert southwest, setting up off thunderstorms, mainly, mainly across the southern half of Oregon. That seems to push a little farther southeast tomorrow, because now we get a little more flow coming in from the west, but that also cools us off. So we get rid of more of the thunderstorms tomorrow, less fire risk across southern Oregon. And with more moisture, there will be some areas of low clouds. Some of us wake up to gray tomorrow morning. Turns all sunny in the afternoon. We get rid of a lot of the fire smoke, which is great news. And then on Wednesday, patchy morning clouds. And Wednesday looks beautiful. And now Thursday, the marine layer is going to be a little thicker. So I think Thursday we may stay in the 70s. And there's the outside chance for a sprinkle Thursday morning out of that thickening marine layer. So tomorrow, brief morning clouds and sunny. Temperature about the same as today, probably a little bit less humid. That's good. Just looking at that three-day forecast. Same thing on Wednesday. And then Thursday is really refreshing. I think we'll stay in the 70s that day. But here's the bad news. I do think it'll ramp back up again at least for two to three days, low to maybe mid-90s Saturday through Monday. Most of our models imply that will not continue long after that, though. So good and bad news there. Something for everyone. But the long heat wave is finished. Bonnie?